Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about reusable variables in Power Virtual Agents. We'll specifically talk about how variables can be used at the topic level, at the bot level, and also briefly cover how they can be used externally. But first, here's my intro video. So for this demo, what I've done is I've gone ahead and come uh, built in my existing environment, I've built a new bot and I just call that as variables live demo. And I just built this, so this is fresh and no ex uh, changes were already made prior to this demo. Now, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna come up with a scenario where I'm gonna use the existing greetings and I'll tweak it a little bit. And then over there, we'll go ahead and create some variables, which will be also be used across the other topics. But first, let's just look at the variables in general, all right? So let's go to this greetings over here. And when I go to the greetings, I'm gonna go ahead and directly go to the authoring canvas. And I really like this greetings scenario because it has a whole bunch of trigger phrases. If you look, there's 52 trigger phrases. So any possible combination that I might need, it already is there. So well, I'll just go ahead and do a little tweaking for myself, for my uh, you know convenience. I'm gonna say I'm a virtual agent and I can help you with common questions, blah, blah, blah. That's good. So I'll. Uh, I'll just say I'm gonna help you uh, with um, account questions, actually with just information, store information. Help you with store information, because that's just the one I need right now. That's cool. Um, I don't need this message, so I'll go ahead and delete it. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and say that uh, first, I'll um, need, I think you got too many L's, I'll need some information from you. All right, cool. Next, I'll go ahead and now start with adding a question. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go ask a question. Now, the scenario for me is that you've gone ahead and started um, the chatting with the, um, the Power Virtual Agent chatbot over here. And the first thing that the bot needs to do is go ahead and get at least your first and last name. That way the conversation can be made at a more you know, one-on-one -on -one level type of a scenario. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the first name and the last name right here, and I'll immediately save it at the in a variable right at this um, at this uh, chat level over here, this topic level. But then I'll also go ahead and save it so it can be used across the entire bot, and then we'll create another topic, and in that topic, we can also go ahead and leverage these variables. So kind of giving you a heads up on what I'm trying to do over here. So I'll go ahead and say, what is your first name, question mark, change the identify to just user's entire response, and I'll go ahead and change my variable. So variable I'm gonna say is that variable or var first name. Now let's pause over here and look at a few things. In the variable properties, these are the new features that come out. Now for some of you, you may have already seen it, but for some of you like me, who've actually been using PVA uh, chatbots for a while, this never existed before. So it's pretty neat because right now you can go ahead and you know set the value of the uh, the variable to, you know by, if you went and did the user's entire response, automatically the type is text, and then this is where you decide that, hey, do you wanna do it at the topic level or do you wanna do it at the entire bot level? So keep in mind that these are the only the two options that are available is at the topic level or at the bot level. It is not set to the environment level. And the environment level is, you know, when you go ahead and create a bot over here, this is the environment level. So it's not at the environment level, it's only at the topic and the bot. And the reason that's important for you to understand is because you cannot switch this from one bot to another it is from one topic to another topic, but from a one bot to another, it doesn't work that way. It is tied still to the environment and the bot way here, all right? So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it this way and we'll switch that over. And I'll come in and I'll say, okay, I got that. And uh, I got the answer to that. And I'll say, um, you know, okay, so uh, next I'll go ahead and I'll also say, um, I'll put in a, just a message, I'll say, um, hi, and I'll just go ahead and use the variable. That way we're already testing it, hi, um, there. Um, actually I'll say thanks and then I'll change that over to another question this is uh, what is your last name again changing the identify to a user's entire response change that over here to last name and I'll go ahead and continue to uh, add another um, uh, just a uh, message and the message says um, thanks, first name, space, last name. And then after that, I'll go ahead and put in a um, question. And the question is, um, you know, what information would you like today? So, 
And that's going to be a multiple choice question over here. So for now, just for the sake of this uh, demo, I'm going to put that as general information. I'll put in billing. And then I'll go ahead and save this to a variable and I'll call that as var type of information. And we'll leave that as is for now. All right, so this is what I'm doing as creating a simple uh, topic. Uh, in fact, I used the existing topic for the greetings. Uh, went ahead and kind of tweaked it a little bit, and then we just added this condition over here. Also making sure topic checker is good, so everything is good. Now I'll, I'll hold on to this as is. Let's put a pause over here, and let's go and uh, create another topic. So in the other topic, I'm gonna go ahead and now, if you haven't already guessed, I've got the general information, and I've got billing. So I'm gonna actually now create a separate topic for that. I'll say this is the general information. And because I'm planning it such that the general information, if, if the user on that first um, um, topic, which is the greetings topic, if that user over there selected general information, then it'll automatically go and trigger off this topic over here, which is why I'm not emphasizing too much on the trigger phrases, because I don't want this to kick off automatically. I want it to come from the greetings over here. But I'll still follow the policy as to you know, try to start with at least five or 10 uh, diverse uh, phrases. So I'll say, you know, general information and part of general information just could be, you know, phone number, um, could be hours of hours, um, you know, website, contact information. That's, you know, that's good to start from right now, right? Jump over straight, to, I'll save the topic, let it go ahead and save it. Then we'll go to the authoring canvas. And then in the authoring canvas, we'll go and um, work on the topic over there. So the first one that went ahead, trigger phrases, that's the one that we uh, kicked off over here. Now I want to do hi. And if I go over here, I do not have any variables to work with. Why? Because in the greetings topic over there, we did not share it yet. So kind of keep that in mind, all right? So I'm going to come over here to the hi, and I'll also go and ask a question. Is that, you know, what kind of general information do you need today? And I'll leave that as multiple choices. And my general information, I'm going to change that over here. And I'm going to say general information type. And I'll put that as say office hours, um, contact information, and so on. Gonna get an idea over here, right? So I just, I'm going to go ahead and save it because this is a very you know general uh, topics I'm creating. It's not the building of the topics, which is the agenda for this meeting. It's just how these variables work. So I've got this uh, neat scenario already set up now. So let's go back to the topics of our greetings. And in the greetings, I'm gonna go back to the authoring canvas. And inside this canvas over here, I mean, inside yeah, this canvas and in this topic, you saw that the variables could be easily accessible because I'm tied to that topic. So that's the first scenario of the topics over here is that, uh, I mean, first scenario of the variables that you can go and create the variable and they can be used directly inside that one topic and it works really well. In fact, we come over here and you can also see the variable watch. And those were the three that we created, right? Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. But now let's go to the next level. So the first question we asked is, what is your first name? In my what is the first name, I'm going to edit that variable. And now I'm going to go ahead and say, at, go ahead and you know uh, click on it. And I can use that uh, across the entire bot, which means in bot, I can have multiple topics. And my first topic was the greetings one and then the general one that we created. So I've gone ahead and switched that over here, right? So I'm going to go ahead now, um, I'll just click on save just to be safe. Then I'll go ahead and do the exact same thing for the last name. Now watch this, I go over here, I go to the last name, um, yeah, go to the last name, click on that to edit the variable, go ahead and change that to save. And now we've gone ahead and allowed these topics to be, uh, these variables from this topic to be shared across the entire topic in that bot. So just to be sure, let's go ahead and take a look. So now I'm gonna click off the, um, I'll just go ahead and save it just to make sure it was saved. Saving your dialog, it was successful. Click outside. Now let's go to the greetings. In its greetings, I'll go to the authoring canvas. Now over here, I just said hi, but since it's coming from the other topic, I wanna make this a little bit more personal. Now, if you didn't notice before, before it was a little grayed out, this option was grayed out, but now I have options. So if I click on it, well, first I'll do the hi space, and then I'm gonna click over here. Aha, it went ahead and gave me the, hey, which one did you select? I mean, you got the first name and the last name. Those are the only two that I selected over here. So now I'm gonna say, hi, you know, John, kind of a thing like that. And so that makes it a little bit more personal because I've gone ahead and saved it over here. So in that scenario, if I go ahead and select, you know, the variables over here, it tells me 
that this is the place where the variable is selected. Now, just to be on the safe side, I can even put in the full name. I can just say first name, I can say last name, all right? So I'm using it specifically in this topic. Now, let me go and save it. Let's go back to that first topic over there. And now you'll notice another change that's happened over there in the greeting side. So I'm going to go back into this authoring and we'll go and look at uh, the two variables over here. So the variables that we've created, oh, it's back in the general information. I meant to go to greetings. So I go to the greetings and this is where the topic was created. I mean, the uh, variables were created. I click on that and now you'll see something else. See, aha, it tells you that, hey, uh, not only have you gone ahead and shared that, um, uh, allowed the usage of that variable across the entire bot, but by the way, it's already being used in this one topic, which is great. Big reason for this to happen over here is because if you even think of deleting it, it's giving you an FYI that, hey, before you delete it, it is already being used over there. So kind of be careful, all right? So I like that because now I can go and you know say that if there's other topics which are being used, it gives me the list of all this information, and then I can just go and click on it it jumps straight away. It actually opened up a uh, a new tab and it's just jumping straight into that topic. And in that topic, it'll also show me where that variable is being used. See right there on that place, it went and showed me this is where you're using it. So kind of do you understand how this whole concept of topics is working? You know, we were able to, um, inside the topic, we were able to first just show the variables and then go ahead and share it over there. But what we need, we're not kind of done yet because I need to go ahead and from the um, greetings topic, it should go ahead and jump over to this topic over here. So let's go back to the greetings topic. I know we're doing a lot of jumping back and forth, but hey, this is how it works. So let's go to the greetings. Now in the greetings topic, I'm gonna to come over here for the general information. I'm gonna go ahead and say, go to another topic. I'm going to get another topic and there you go. The general information that we selected goes ahead and selects that. And then after that, it just completed. So uh, to ensure the topic of testing is the most, uh, is the most current, um, go ahead and save yours. So I'll go ahead and save it and it's giving me some good information to make sure I don't have any errors into that. All right, so now we're actually in good shape. So let's do a test. So I'm gonna click the test uh, uh, bot. I'll go ahead and make sure that I can track between topics. So I'll go with that. And now let's do a test. So I'm gonna say hi there. And the hi there, it's coming back right to the top. Cool, it says I'm a uh, virtual agent, how can I help? First, I need some information from you. What is your first name? So I'm gonna say Daniel. Nice, it says what is your last name? I'll go ahead and say Christian. Oops, I actually forgot to put some space over there. That's fine. It says, what information would you like today? I'm going to go ahead and just stick with general information because that's the one we are switching over. Go on general information. From there, it switched directly over to our general information topic. And it was able to go ahead and get the variables from the greetings topic. So kind of understand what's going on. And then over here, I can pick and choose whatever it is. I can pick either one of them. It's not going to work because it's kind of incomplete over there. But do you get the idea of this whole concept of how these variables are working? Is that not now we're no longer tied to that topics. We can go ahead and do it across the entire bot, which means across all the topics, as long as it's contained in that bot over there. Just keep in mind that it's not across the entire environment. It's only still tied to the bot. Now, I want to end talking a little bit about how the external thing works. So let's actually go spend some time on that. So I'm going to click on it. And in fact, let's just go to where was the birthplace of these topics, uh, the um, the variables. So we're going to go to the um, greetings. Let me go back over here. And as we go and see this uh, first variable that we created, in the usage, there is an information section. So I'm going to click on that information section, click on learn more. And over here, it gives you more information about specifically those coded ones over here. So you are able to do all of this, I've kind of walked you through that. But towards the end, it's saying more information of how you can go ahead and now uh, turn on the external sources. So what the external sources does is it's giving you the flexibility to go ahead and now get the URL of your bot. And then once you get the variables, you can automatically and ex you can automatically you can automatically and externally go ahead and use that variable and already apply some uh, data to it. So in this case, as an example, like watch, I've gone ahead and said that here's the bot with the username, go ahead and apply uh, a name to that user over there. You can also take it to another level by actually going ahead and adding a variable to a custom canvas, putting in some code, embedding that bot over there. And if you already have some custom uh, website over there, which is already going ahead and grabbing the um, uh, in an ID, which could be the bot ID, it could be also be uh, variables of um, uh, the username and things like that, you can go ahead and put in some code. Uh, it's an HTML code and work on that. 
And then finally, when you're going ahead and deleting a bot variables, it's going to tell you that, hey, when you delete this node, there, these are the things that's going to happen. So kind of watch out over there. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. We focused primarily on variables and we looked at the variables that can be used inside a topic level and also variables that can be used at the entire bot level. And we briefly covered about the external piece over there. So kind of keep that in mind. And as always, keep using Power Virtual Agents.